The other fun uh, sort of excuse and sort of mitigating factor that we will hear is that the Israelis, they warn the Palestinian people to watch out. <laughs> now, and nobody else has ever done that in the history. Now, of course, that's not true. Um, there are tons of examples throughout history where uh, civilians have been uh, warned that uh, this area or that area may be hit, et cetera, et cetera. But aside from the fact that the Israelis told uh, the Palestinians to move down to the south because we're coming to the north, and they have been bombing, and they admit they have been bombing in the south. And when you cut off water, you cut off electricity, you cut off food, and you cut off escape, there is nowhere to go. But here is an example of why this sort of myth is, um, is propagated. And here's another way in which they do it. They release a, um, an actual video where they're sending warnings to Palestinians. Now, this would be hilarious if it wasn't so uh, sick. In the sense that, A, there's no electricity in Gaza. Um, they have supposedly, under pressure from the United States, resumed Internet access in Gaza. But, of course, there's no electricity. So anything that was somehow found its way online would be um, consumed by a very small amount of people. But also, the idea that this is released in English. Exactly. For an audience, now, th there's no doubt that, that Palestinians, uh, a, a some percentage of them speak English. Some percentage of them, uh, I would think even a higher percentage, speaks Hebrew. Um, but this is put out in English because the audience for this is not in Palestine, not in Gaza. The audience for this is sitting in, I don't know, Tenafly, New Jersey, or in, uh, you know, wherever it is, Washington, D.C., or New York, yep. Ann Arbor, wherever it is in the English-speaking world. Uh, this is the audience. This is a show. Attention, citizens of Gaza. Listen carefully. This is an urgent military advisory from the Israel Defense Forces. For your immediate safety, we urge all residents of northern Gaza and Gaza City to temporarily relocate south. Temporarily. Let me repeat. We urge all residents of northern Gaza and Gaza City to relocate south immediately. This is a temporary measure. <clears throat> Moving back to northern Gaza will be possible once the intense hostilities end. Oh, sure. Hamas puts your life in danger by placing weapons and forces within civilians' area in Gaza, including schools, masks, and hospitals. The impending IDF operation is set to neutralize these th threats of Hamas with precision and intensity. Humanity remains haunted by the massacre unleashed by Hamas on October 7th, a massacre of innocent lives. Israeli men, women, children, and babies were beheaded, executed, raped, and burnt alive. We won't forget that. And the kidnapping of over 200 Israelis we will not forget. To the residents of northern Gaza and Gaza City, your window to act is closing. Move south for your own safety. Move south. This is not a mere precaution. It is an urgent plea for the safety of the civilians in right, Gaza. We don't need to hear yeah. more about this. I mean, we get the idea. This is literally, literally a... Ethnic uh, cleansing. Like a, a, well, I'm saying what that clip is. Yes. Is an advertisement uh, basically put out by the Israeli government for the sake of public opinion around the world. And They've been the doing that. They, they put out some AI image of Voldemort uh, and said, and I don't even know what the purpose of it was, but the caption from at Israel, the official account was, 
uh, Hamas equals ISIS. And I saw people saying, why do they keep saying this? Hamas equals ISIS. Hamas equals ISIS. It's another effort at propaganda uh, propaganda to get Western English speaking audiences, particularly the U.S., also the U.K., other governments in North America and Europe that support Israel to for for the domestic audiences there to be fearful like Hamas is coming for me because ISIS has global jihadic jihadist goals right um Hamas has goals that are uh obviously bloodthirsty in the way that they massacred those Israeli civilians but they are regional goals what the Israeli government is trying to do and also you with the beheading babies thing which I feel we still have not gotten independent confirmation over but putting that aside for a second is evoke that imagery of ISIS for a western audience to say like they're coming on your doorstep it's coming for you it's coming for you keep funding us keep supporting us don't listen to what everybody's saying about the atrocities don't read the stories of the uh, pediatricians in the New York Times about what the conditions are like here continue to fund our efforts our crimes continue to do so that's what that is for um i i can guarantee you that that video will be used in some argument that someone's having as an excuse it's like this is what israel does they give them warnings i I had that that freaking argument in, in a language that is uh probably not widely spoken by uh the people who are gonna see it in a medium which is almost impossible to access at this point by the people who are it's intended to be uh supposedly i mean it's it's just sheer theater that's it period end of story Th- that's just sheer theater